Okay, guys. Tony here at our cabin in the woods. Heading up. It's pretty early. It's about 7.15. Gonna go up here and go feed the animals real quick. Let's see here. There's my my uh, garlic garden right there. I flipped over my compost pile again. And then here we are. Heading up to the goats and everybody. I've been, uh, this week, I've been, I do it probably like once, every couple of months. In the chicken feed, in the chicken coop, in the goat feed, and in the pig feed. The, uh, what's that called? Uh, Dimetrius earth or whatever, that little granule for help deworming and stuff. I do that for all the animals. I did the chickens i did the goats yesterday i did the pigs once last night and i'm um, you mix it in their feed and uh just something normal i try to do good morning guys hi days what you up to my honey huh hey hoss which is frank jr what you doing there buddy huh there's mama and there's precious they're all taking it easy you all got still hay in there good I got hay over there and you guys oh girls are you waiting today's poop day i gotta go in there go do their poop pick that up let these guys out they'll be ready to hop on out of there huh i need to clean out the chicken coop too get that done how you girls doing you girls doing good you're looking nice and tasty i mean uh nice and big yeah all right, let me get over here and get this set up. I just put some more. I just put some of that in this feed this scoop. About halfway in, mixed it. Man, I can't do this like this. Hold on. All right, sorry about that. Then I just take a little bit more and I sprinkle it right on top. I don't know if you ever seen this stuff, but it's uh, if you look at it under a microscope. It's uh, really jagged, almost resembles glass. And what happens is, is this stuff here, when they, they eat it, it gets in their digestive system. And if there's any worms, any parasites that's in their system, it actually chops them up. It's safe for them, it's safe for the, the birds, the goats. I've been doing it for years like this. You know, I just, it would probably, the pigs will probably do it once every five weeks, let's just say. Just for pre preventive maintenance. Back my first year. Of pigs I had I they had um they ended up getting um digestive tract worms and um um yeah it's when you see a worm hanging out of their butt you're like whoa you know and uh but it's normal for them to have it to actually piglets um don't get them that that much um uh, as long as you keep their pen pretty clean it they do pretty good and that's the big thing um the old old pigs older pigs you will have problems with worms so and then we'll have to do you would have to do like once a month or something like that yeah now you can do other things um for get preventive uh something else is uh you can feed them you can feed here let me, let me feed him first and then we'll talk let me get them fed real quick they're running around here going nuts All right, now they're happy campers. Um, yeah, what happens is they eat it, it gets in their system, and whatever, if, there, if there's any parasites or worms, look at this real dirty, it actually chops them up and kills them. Uh, pumpkins work very good, but what it really does is the pumpkin, it's the seed itself, I forgot what's, what's in the seed, but the seed itself is a... I guess there's a chemical in it that actually paralyzes the worms. So when they pigs poop, it poops them out. That's great. But the problem is they're still living in your area of where the pigs are playing. So when that wears off, of course, they're kind of alive if they're in the ground or the parasites are still alive that's over there. So that's why one thing is to keep your the poop area cleaned up. And uh, the, the pumpkin works good. But just to clean them out, I mean, as, if they're moving around big fields, then the odds are they won't get it again if they got it. But when you get close to area, I mean, I'm kind of close to area here, and that's why I always keep the poop picked up. 
and um, you know you, you have to do that uh, the goats the same you know they stay pretty clean and I put that that earth stuff in the in their feed also they're the chickens because they it'll kill the um, uh, mites and whatever else they may get and also parasites in their poop so I actually spread it around in their chicken coop in the bedding where they lay down and it's it's in their food so um, it's a good maintenance thing for them and um, it works good so uh, I don't have problems I've never my goats knock on wood let me find some wood goats have never gotten sick I just jinxed myself I think and um, so you know I've uh, man look at that big old that was a big old snake right there that spun itself around and curled up and then took off again we have big snakes up here out here copperheads haven't seen rattler but copperheads are out here bad my wife bought stepped on one about a year and a half ago when i uh went to boston with my kids so let me walk up here real quick and i'll show you my snap peas and then i need to get in the house i went outside without willow when she was howling when i left but i had the camera and just wanted to come out here quickly and you can see my pea pods and only I'm, I'm gonna say maybe a two-thirds of them come up that's fine here they are there right there I put them in every four inches all the way across nothing come up here you, know, you can see some spots that didn't come up but that's fine I got a free plant right there and my guess that's probably gonna be either zucchini or cucumber not too sure this bed here what this is a hula culture bed also but not as deep as what these are this one here is down uh, this bed here is down maybe say eight inches this one here was down foot and that one went down like a foot and a half and uh, so you can see look I mean I haven't watered nothing and this has been a few days since I've done this and you can still see it's staying pretty moist we've had cool weather you know what I think we did get a little rain last late last night I heard something but the ground don't look wet <laughs> anyway all right guys quick info quick walk out here you need to go in and tend to willow feed her you need to walk her too all right y'all we'll talk to you later